Joe, it's a new game week and also a new haircut. Tell us about the backstory and what it means to you. So um, my one of my best mates, Nick Anderton, um, I'm actually godfather to his to his little daughter Grace. Um, he has been diagnosed with a rare form of bone cancer. I'm not quite sure what it's called. Um, that was a, about five months ago ish, and now he's going through chemotherapy. Um, he's signed at Bristol Rovers, um, and I suppose a lot of people have seen in social media and on Sky Sports that um, the the lads at Bristol Rovers have all raised money on a GoFundMe page. They've all shaved their hair off. And uh, I thought I'd get involved to, to raise the profile a bit more. And, uh, and yeah, so everyone's, everyone's behind him. All, uh, all family and friends are behind him and everyone in football's behind him and we wish him all well. Like you said, a great cause and we'll be sure to promote it to make sure a lot of people donate to it. This weekend, we'll see us travel to Stoke City. How have the preparations gone this week? Uh, yeah, good. Uh, another hard day's training we just finished. Um, another big game. They're all, they're all big games. Um, off the back of, of a disappointing result um, at home to QPR, obviously going 2 0 ahead. Um, I feel like we should have done a lot better in the second half and uh, managed the game better uh, and yeah, got the three points. But it's, uh, it's another point in the right direction and, and we move on to the, to the next game, Stoke away. And uh, yeah, we've, done, we've done a lot of good training this week, preparing for the, for the game at the weekend. The relationship between Tony Warner and the goalkeeper seems to be so strong, which in turn means that training must be enjoyable for you and the other guys on a daily basis. Yeah, it's, it's, it's great fun, but we also work really, really hard. It, it gets us going. Um, and for me, if, you, if you're enjoying it, you're, you're learning more. So, um, yeah, and I've sort of gone, gone for the Tony Warner look. Um, don't think I look quite as good as him, but... Uh, but yeah, a two-one win at home to Stoke earlier this season. Does that give us some confidence going into the game this weekend? Um, oh, look, that was that was a while ago, and um, have they got a new manager now? Since then, yeah. So it's, it's it's another game where we've got to look at it and go from the beginning. We can't really look at previous games. We just always look ahead, and um, and yeah, I feel like we've done really. We've got another day's training tomorrow. Um, We'll work on it again and we'll be, we'll be prepared for a, for a big game. A win would take us to 40 points with just 18 games to go, which will put us in a good position leading into the final few months of the season as well. Yeah, definitely. Um, obviously, our, our aim is to, uh, to stay up and the quicker we do that, the better. And then we can look on to, to further and, and better things. And lastly, we managed to grab some footage of you from training today, scoring against Dino. I guess you always have to be ready and also practice for when maybe you're called upon in the final moments of a game to go up for a set piece. Yeah, well, it happens on a daily basis. Me whipping it in the in the bins against Dino. No, Dino's uh, Dino's been been class for me. Um, as as have the young lads and Tony and uh, everyone here really have been been brilliant and I'm really enjoying it. Um, Dino's great great competition. We both we both get on really well and push each other to to be our best. Um, but yeah, he's, uh, he's not happy sometimes when I just whip it barring in. Do you know what I mean? It happens.